Praise the Lord, saints, once again to be here at our Tuesday evening Bible study. God's good, amen, and he's worthy of praise, amen. Good you could join us, amen, uh, through our Bible study, amen, this evening, amen. Praise the Lord, amen. Good to see the family of God one more time for the glory and the honor of God, amen. Let's continue, amen, to love one another and pray one another in the Lord. If you're enjoying the services that uh, Oasis have, hit the like and the subscribe button on the bottom, amen. And connect with us, amen. And we'll get back with you in the Lord, amen. For God's good and worthy to be praised, amen. Let's also stay social distancing, amen. And wear our mask, amen. Wash our hands. And let's be safe in this time, amen. Let's be a good example also as unto the Lord, amen. I also want to thank God for our doctors, our first responders, amen, and our essential workers, amen, that's on the front line every day. Uh, I'd like to thank God for you and give you a thumbs up, amen, for God, what you're doing, amen, in these times and these hours, amen. God's good, amen, and he's worthy of praise. Those have your Bibles this evening, turn to John chapter number 12, John chapter number 12. We'll look in the word of God today for God's glory and God's honor, amen. John chapter 12 and verse 21. John 12, 21, the Bible says, The same came therefore to Philip, which was a Bethsaida of Galilee, and desired him saying, and desired him saying, Sir, we must, we would see Jesus. Read again. Then the same came therefore to Philip, which was a Bethsaida of Galilee, and desired him saying, Sir, we would see Jesus. Let us pray as Lord, Father, we thank you once again, another opportunity, Lord, to open your word. Father, I pray you give us a clear mind, a clear heart. And I pray, Father, Lord, the word of God have liberty and free course will be glorified. I pray, Lord, you save sinners, strengthen the saints of God. In Jesus' name, amen. I want to preach on this thought with the help of the Lord. We would see Jesus, amen. We would see Jesus, amen. Now, I tell you, that's the important thing today is that we see him. We don't need to see ourselves, but see Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, for the glory and the honor of God. Notice carefully in our text in John 12, 21. The Bible says, latter part of that verse, Sir, we would see Jesus, amen. We would see Jesus. We would see Jesus. Church, we need to see Jesus, amen. And I tell you, in this hour we live in, we need to see Jesus Christ more in our life for the glory and the honor of God. Husbands and wives need to see Jesus, amen. In relationships, they need to see Jesus Christ, amen. I tell you, it's so important to see Jesus Christ in us and through us for the glory and the honor of God. Families need to see Jesus. I tell you, more homes will be stronger have a stronger foundation if they see Jesus Christ, amen. Our country needs to see Jesus Christ. I tell you, many places in our country right now is divided in many ways. And I tell you, if they see Jesus, things can be stronger, things can be fervent, things can be stable, things can be right if we see Jesus Christ, amen. Church members need to see Jesus Christ. I tell you, if you're a church member, and you see Jesus, you will love him in the right perspective as a child of God. If you're not part of a local assembly, man, when you see Jesus, you will run and join the local assembly with the believers, amen, for the glory and the honor of God. I must ask yourself a question today. Do you see Jesus in your life, amen? Do you see Jesus in your life, amen? You might see a lot of things in your life today. You might look at your problems. You might look at your circumstance. You might look at your trials. You might look at all these things. You might look at this season we're in right now, COVID-19. But do you see Jesus in your life? Amen. That's important today. And all the things we have and things that's going on in our country, in our churches, we need to see Jesus in our life. Amen. Let's look at the setting of this text. And look at John 12 again and verse 21. Then came, then said, came therefore to Philip, which was a Bethsaida of Galilee, desire him, saying, Sir, 
we would see Jesus. We see here, church, that Jesus has returned to Jerusalem for his death, amen, or to die. They're excited about him coming back to Jerusalem, amen. They're excited. They have a Hosanna, Hosanna. And I tell you, they're excited about Christ coming back, amen. It was told by the disciples, amen, that these things were going to happen. Jesus had pathetically, a prophecy told them that these things were going to happen. He told them these things were going to happen, amen. And thousands of Jews had gathered for the Passover. This is a tradition. This is a custom. This is an event that took place in Jerusalem. And they had been told about this matter. But notice here verse 21 again. In the bottom verse it says, Sir, we would see Jesus. And this evening, saints, who do you see today? Who do you see? Do you see your family? Do you see friends? Do you see a husband and wife? Do you see your job? Do you see money? Or do you see the lust of the flesh? Or do you see pride? Or do you see the need of Jesus in your life? See, there are a lot of things we're after. You can go chasing after a lot of things. But do you know Jesus? The question we're going to ask ourselves today, how close to Jesus are you today? How close to Jesus are you today? Are you real close to him? Is he far off from you? Are you backsit on him? Are you at the prodigal son? Are you running from God today? How close to Jesus are you today in your heart and life today? <coughs> Excuse me today. What was our first point today? We will see G number one. This cry to Jesus is for all races. This cry for Jesus is for all races of all humanity. Look at John 12 again. Look at verse 20. And there was a certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. We see here in the word of God, there were certain Greeks among them that dwelt among them or abode with them. There were certain Greeks that was there at that Saturday man. And we find here that there was also very few Gentiles at the Passover. We find there was Greeks there, but there was very few Gentiles at the Passover. We find here that they longed to know God. They longed to know God. They wanted to, they said, sir, we must see Jesus. It got personal. It got intimate. It got personal. The conversation had got broader. The conversation had got open. They wanted to see Jesus. Amen. And child of God, do you long to see Jesus? Amen. In your life, in your heart, in your home, in your church, in your devotion time. Do you long? Do you have a longing and the desire or a yearning to see Jesus in me in your life? Do you long for his word? Do you long for Tuesday night Bible study? Do you long for Sunday? Do you long to get up on Monday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday? Do you long for his word? Number two, do you long for his presence? Do you desire to be in fellowship with him, commune with him, how fellowship with him? Do you long for that fellowship? Be amazed at how many believers are out of fellowship with the Lord. They're not in his presence. Be amazed that, and we find in the book of Genesis that Adam and Eve was out of God's presence. They began to kick him out of the garden because of the sin they had committed in the garden. You'd be amazed of how many believers are not close to Jesus, even this season in COVID-19. You'd be amazed of how many believers are not close to the Savior, close to him today. Do you long to worship him? Do you long to worship him? Look at me in Philippians chapter 3. Philippians chapter 3. Philippians chapter 3. In verse number 10, that I may know him and the power of the resurrection and the fellowship of the suffering that may conform unto his death. Do you know him? Do you want to know him more? Church, all races need Jesus Christ. 
Every man needs Jesus Christ. The gospel is for all men. There is no one that you can accidentally give the gospel to. Every man needs Jesus Christ. Every boy, every woman needs Jesus Christ. All backsliders need Jesus Christ. All non-churchers need the gospel. All unchurched individuals need a gospel message. They need Jesus, amen. They need to love him. They need to long for him. And I tell you, you as a member of Oyster Baptist Church, you ought to long to be with Jesus Christ. And also, nine church going to Jesus Christ. Those that don't go to church at all, that are not members of a local body, been saved and baptized in the body of believers, need to connect in the local church. At this time of COVID-19, maybe you've been thinking about this thing, been contemplating about this matter. It's time to connect, amen, with Christ and his church. Sir, we would see Jesus. Number two, their hearts cried out to see relief through religious ceremonies. They was chasing or pursuing after religious ceremonies. Look at John 12 again, verse 20. And there was a certain Greek among them that came up to worship at the feast. And there was certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. These Greeks at the Passover were still seekers or seeking. They were seekers or seeking, amen. And just like child of God, these Greeks, amen, there's church members and church people that are seeking today. You realize today that there are those that are seeking after something, but not Jesus Christ. Let me say today, child of God, that there are people there are seeking to be baptized, but are still lost. You can be baptized by every baptism. Every crawl dead in tadpole can know your name and zip code and address, but that doesn't mean you're saved by the grace of God. Keeping the law cannot save you. Law's good. The law's lawful. But the law cannot save you. The Bible tells the law was for sinners, for the unjust, for the unruly. The law cannot save you. We find also today that legalism cannot keep you or save you. You can have rules and regulation and boundaries set up in your life. You can have the outward man cleaned up all day long and still inside be dead men's bones. Empty on the inside. Because you think because you don't do these certain things or say certain things or put certain things on. I'll tell you today, child of God, legalism cannot keep you saved. Amen. It's Jesus Christ plus nothing, minus nothing through the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. People that who have joined the church can be lost. Amen. You see, just because you're a member of a local church, amen, you can be born again by your thinking on some things, but not born by the Spirit of God, amen. You can think that you're, because you're a member of a church, amen, still lost, amen. You'd be amazed of how many individuals that are members of local assemblies have never been born again. They just like these folks in John 12, 20, they were chasing at the religious ceremonies. They were pursuing these religious ceremonies, but not saved by the grace of God, amen. Listen to me, saints. Our life is not given through religious rituals. Keeping rituals and religious rules and regulations is not salvation. But a relationship with Jesus Christ is what we need today. A intimate relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. We'll boil down to it or you're born again. Have you come to the place of your life to the end of yourself, amen, saw yourself a sinner, saw yourself lost, saw yourself dead, amen, and saw yourself that you see Jesus Christ on that cross, amen, and you cling to him and ask him to, and his mercy and his love and his grace to save you by the grace of God, amen. Only for the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved, amen. We would see Jesus, amen. Number three today. We that are saved should live our lives as Christians. We that are saved by the grace of God ought to live our life as a Christian. Amen. We find here in John 12, 21, 
we find that these Greeks came to Philip with their request. Look at John 12, 21. The, they, came, they said, came therefore to Philip, which was, the same came therefore to Philip, which was the Bethesda of Galilee, and desired him, saying, Sir, we would see Jesus. We find here in the word of God, this is a reasonable request. We would see Jesus, amen. In church, we as God's people ought to have the same request. We would see Jesus. We need to see Jesus Christ in our life, amen. We need to be testaments and instruments and vessels that when individuals see us, amen, Excuse me, when individuals see us, amen, when people see us, amen, outside the homes, outside the church, amen, and the grocery stores and the marketplace, amen, they say, you know what? They know Jesus Christ, amen. They love you, and Oasis, they're there to refresh you and renew you and revive you about Jesus Christ, amen. It's not about this and that, it's about Jesus Christ, amen. We should live our lives that others can see Jesus Christ. We have a responsibility, child of God. What do we see Jesus Christ? Others need to be part of that, amen. Does a lost and dying world need to see Jesus Christ? Can others see Jesus in your life? Can others see Jesus Christ in your life? Can they see Christ in your life? Or they see yourself? Or the flesh? They see Christ, amen. And it's closing. Would we see Jesus Christ? We can see Jesus Christ. We can see him in our life. Amen. And we look in the mirror of the word of God. And allow him to work in our heart. Amen. Others will see Jesus Christ. Amen. Maybe today. You need to examine yourself. Amen. By the word of God. And just pause for a moment and see if Christ is really working and living in your life. Amen. If you don't know Christ today, I encourage you today to bow your head and call on Christ and ask him in your heart. and Ask him to save you, amen. And you ask him to forgive you, amen, and confess his name. Believe what he did on Calvary's cross, amen, and to say, Lord, I'm a sinner. I'm lost. I'm undone. I plead to you, Lord, to save me by the grace of God. He'll do that, amen. If you call him like a childlike faith, amen, and call on him, he'll save you, amen. And the Bible tells us that angels of heaven rejoice, amen, and you'll be a child of God. And I tell you, it's rejoicing me, amen, and rejoicing the Oyster Baptist Church, amen, to know that somebody got saved by the grace of God, amen. Come to Jesus Christ today, man. We would see Jesus Christ, amen. I tell you, just like the Greeks and the Gentiles, you too can have Jesus Christ in me. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the word of God. Lord, we ask you today, Father, that you move in a mighty way. Father, I ask you, Lord, that you just continue, Lord, to let us see Jesus Christ. We will live our lives pleasing your sight, Father. I thank you, Lord, that the gospel is for all races, Father. Father, I thank you, Lord, that we're not saved by religious Rituals, Father. Father, I pray, Lord, that you continue, Lord, to let us live our lives, that others can see Jesus Christ. We praise you and we thank you. We ask this in Christ's name. Amen.